So now I will open this device to show you the insides of this uh, solar uh, charge controller. So let's take a look now. Okay, so this uh, solar charge controller, we will now open it and see what's inside. First I want to say, yeah, this is uh, also for a lithium battery. And there you see uh, the settable voltage, so that means you can change several parameters and how this uh, charge controller will behave uh, during charging, also discharging. There's also a built-in timer, so you can, for example, say, okay, I want to uh, switch lights on after dawn and only four hours after after dawn. And um, okay, this is about uh, more the microcontrol, and here you have the USB outlets, and here you have the menu. And here you have the, uh, the two arrows you have here. And here are the connections. Okay, so I will now open it. To save time, I already took out a few of the screws. I'll take now the last one. And then we will see what's under. So it's a heatsink plate, so this can get a little bit warm. And what do we see here? This heatsink is in contact with this kind of uh, film, and this film is uh, over the five components, and I will show you them. I have to open also these screws, and three screws are already taken out, so I take the last one out. And then you need here to open it, you, you have here dents, two dents, and here you have two dents. So what you do is, you put a screw down here, and then, there we go. And you see here now there are five components. Those are the MOSFETs which can become warm. And they will give through this film, they will give the heat to this uh, heat sink. These are the MOSFETs and uh, the MOSFETs are of course not only for charging the battery, but also to control the power which is going to the output, so to the consumers. And then here you see the uh, display and you see here the output of the USB and here you see the the buttons, or the menu and uh, the arrows, and here you see the contacts. So that's it. And we will hope that it works. now connect the charge controller to all the peripherals. They want you to connect first the battery. Okay. We take now the two poles of the battery. There they are, plus and minus. And uh, they go to the central connections. And there we take this uh, screwdriver. We put this here inside. First we make it completely open. You can do this with a hand screwdriver because then it's you it regulates better the force. So the positive, the brown is on the plus and the minus on the minus, the blue is on the minus. This the blue, no, the blue goes on the minus. Take care. Eh? And here's the plus, brown, red, that's okay. And look to the reading. Okay, there it is, 12.7 volts. Okay. So now we go to the solar panel, but there's not enough sun, so we will take laboratory power supply. Can we see it here? No, we don't see it. No, I don't. Now I'm uh, connecting the solar panel to the charge controller, so I put a minus and it's uh, 18 volts, here's the fine voltage, that's the uh, usual, it's the uh, working voltage for a panel, it depends of course on how much sun there is, and uh, here the, the ampere is uh, on maximum of 3 ampere and there we go, here we see it's indeed uh, 3 amperes on this moment, 
uh, but the, the voltage went down from 18 volts to 14 volts so that means 4 volts because the battery is just taking uh, this uh, all this current and uh, the, the solar panel cannot hold it up uh, it's going down the, the, the voltage of the solar panel because this current is uh, drawn Starting, you will see the solar panel and there uh, you see it and you see also that uh, this arrow here is in the manual if it's uh, constant on this arrow uh, it says that it will charge uh, quickly with a uh, high power and indeed now it's uh, charging with a 3 ampere which is the maximum of this uh, power supply and uh, the voltage here goes down to 13 and 7 volts so from 18 it goes down down and that is the, the voltage difference which is uh, not used in this uh, PWM uh, voltage controller it's just uh, gone and here it's uh, going up to 13.7 uh, uh, volt and what you see now uh, is now flashing that means that the voltage went up from what was before 12.7 now to 13.7 and in the manual there is this uh, setting where you can say okay this is the voltage where it has to charge slower and you see this uh, flashing it means that it's uh, charging slower so that it will not stress the battery when it is close to the fully charged state and what we can do now is that we put it on uh, this compressor and with this compressor uh, you can put uh, compressed air in a tire and uh, this takes uh, 10 amperes so this is uh, quite some current uh, which is uh, flowing to the MOSFETs of course but it's uh, rated for 20 amperes this uh, solar controller so you can do that so what we will do now is that we put here the connections for the users and uh, I put here a quick connection so again we take care of the polarity that's important so this brown for the plus and the blue one for the minus So you push here only and then it's already, it can receive the connection. So it's very, you don't have to, to screw it. And here you put the other connection. And now it's connected and you see here now the reading. The compressor is active. And uh, now with uh, you have here also many functions, you have light etc. But uh, the important function is that we will now draw um, between 5 and 10 ampere. So that's working. So that was the compressor. And of course now also the battery is a little bit uh, more down. And um, what we will do now is uh, we connect the telephone on the USB port. Here's the telephone. And what we will see is if I connect it, he will say thank you. I am charging. There we go. So 30% uh, it will be ready from 30% in one and uh, in 1.50 minutes in two hours it will be full. So that is really in a quick uh, charge. So that's also working. And you see indeed that uh, the voltage is going down because uh, it's uh, maybe taking uh, some too long. So that's uh, the USB test. So that is uh, the functional test. And now we can uh, go to the menu. So this is another part of the test. So here's the menu and here you see the cyclical menu with all the displays uh, which are available. And uh, you start with the voltage, with the actual voltage measurement and that's uh, now 13.7 volt. And uh, then if you push on the menu button, you go to 13.7 volt, which is uh, now the same as uh, the voltage reading, but it's another kind of... Uh, in the case, it's the indication when the voltage controller will start to, uh, to charge slower. So he will keep it at this, uh, this voltage. It will not go 
uh, over this, uh, this uh, voltage. Then you go to the next one, and then you see the discharge reconnect. No, there we go. Yeah, so 12.6 volt, and that means that if at some point a uh, user like this compressor takes too much uh, current, uh, then it will go down, down until uh, in the fabric's factory setting is 10.7 volt, and I put it on on 11 volt, and then it will switch off. So the compressor will not work it anymore because this controller says the battery has to be protected and I will not give you current anymore. And then it will wait until it goes to this 12.6 uh, volt before it will connect again uh, this, uh, this user. So that means it will give the battery the, the chance to, to charge from 10.7 to 12.6 volts before making it available again to the users. The next uh, setting is the work mode, and he, you see here 24 hours, and that means this um, output is always active. It will work always. But if you, for example, you go down, so I have then to push if I want to change this, this 24 hours, in, for example, that he will um, switch on only for four hours after the sunset, then I have to push five seconds, and then it will go in a setting mode, and then I can change it, and I can say, for example, I go down with the down to button, and then, uh, for example, if dawn is at uh, eight o'clock, uh, then it will keep your lights on uh, around the house until one o'clock, and you can change that. And if you put it on zero. And I will do that now. So now it is at 1, and that means that one hour after sunset it will change. But now I go to 0, and that means that it goes just uh, from sunset to dawn. And that dawn, it will close the lights again. And uh, that's it. So, and then you go, the next item is the B1, and that means the B1 battery, and that means just a normal LED battery. And what is now not so clear from the manual is um, how this is uh, changed. So, for example, I can go inside this menu, okay, then I can change it. And the uh, battery, I will switch it. No, that's, that's not clear, because if I uh, close down the battery, then I don't see the display anymore. So that means I cannot change it anymore. So what I think is that uh, in some way it understands what the battery is uh, switched from one battery type to the other. But that is not uh, clearly explained in the manual. So that's a negative point for this, uh, for this uh, controller, that it's not clear how to adapt this uh, controller for another kind of, of battery. And then you go again uh, to the actual voltage. So, after some time that you do nothing, it will always go down to the normal voltage uh, uh, reading. Now we will see this issue about the Amazon reviewer, which saw the problem of the output which was not uh, shut off when we wanted it. So, what I uh, find here is that uh, if you put here your finger, then you can see that you can switch it off manually. So, what you see here, when I switch it on, then two things happen. This goes on this compressor, and uh, I can also show you that it's uh, <coughs> uh, it can draw 10 uh, amperes of power, and um, you have here also the light. But uh, you see also the telephone, which is uh, switching off and on. So now it's off, and now it is on. Yeah, so it's now charging uh, on this port. Uh, what we uh, will do now is to see not if there's a, a voltage on the output. So we put it on 20 volts, and then I will show you if uh, the power is shut off, uh, which you can see on this uh, display of the compressor. It's off. Now, uh, what uh, voltage is there on the exit, on the output, and you can see it here. These uh, screws, of course, are also under tension. 
it's a 2.4 volts, 2.4 volts, and uh, the current it's uh, taking it's half a milliampere. So and there you are. This is half a milliampere, and uh, so um, I can see in some way the this uh, commenter is uh, right, but I think that half a milliampere on uh, such a battery. Uh, it will be a leakage uh, current of the MOSFET. I think it's not uh, not important. Half a million ampere on a battery of uh, 100 ampere hours. That's uh, really a long, long time. I would not uh, worry about it. Now just to see how much current it draws. If I if I open the gate, so we are now at half a million ampere, and now I switch this on the power control. And you see the compressor is on and it uh, draws for this display for the uh, you the standby functions it draws a 12 and a half milliampere i can see it's a light on and that goes to 44 so 20 milliampere for the light so we switch it off again so it's confirmed i go back to a normal setting, to a normal display, and I don't see anything. The only way to uh, to start uh, working, to start the output, is to do it manually. If I do it now with uh, one hour. The other way is to leave it always active, and that I will show now. I go into the menu, and I go to 24 hours. If I confirm at least. Yeah, that's uh, too. That goes on. So uh, what I do, I will not uh, try to reverse engineering this, I will just uh, uh, go to the producer and say, okay, um, uh, this is uh, my conclusion, I tried uh, several things, uh, but uh, please uh, make, uh, make it clear and then I will, uh, if I have this answer, I will come back to you and I will write it in the description or I will make a short video on it and then uh, I will let you know. And in a way you see also here this uh, display, this uh, icon, it's uh, going on and off. So here it's on and you see the telephone is uh, uh, saying thank you for the for the power and I switch it off and then it says okay. Uh, you see it here and you see also on the compressor that uh, power is off. Okay, so at least if uh, if it would be working, you would see it on this icon. What I want to do now uh, is to, to see if this uh, controller is uh, shutting down the users, the consumers, if the voltage of the battery is going down below the voltage which we imposed for this function. So we have a level below which consumers will, will be switched off and uh, from the factory this was at 10.7 uh, volts I put it on 11 so what we have to do there is uh, to lower the voltage of the battery and how do we do that well we let the power supply now not be the solar panel but uh, the solar supply will take the role of the battery in this way we can fine-tune the voltage and we will be able to see this on the display and uh, then we can see if it's uh, going down, what it will do when it's going below this uh, uh, set voltage. So, as uh, you remember, we have uh, to switch on. We have to connect always first the battery on this uh, device. And uh, we will do that now. Here's the minus connection. I will put it here. And we have here the plus. And uh, there we are. It's uh, showing here the same uh, value as I see on my power supply. In the power supply I have a 
two functions for the voltage. One uh, uh, for the big range and the uh, other is for fine tuning. So I have it now at uh, 12.5 as you see here. And uh, now I will connect the consumer. Is there still the compressor? I will not uh, use the compressor but only the light because uh, the power supply is not uh, able to give to supply this uh, current of the compressor. So there we go. Well, uh, we see uh, it is uh, on now and uh, that's because the uh, voltage is above this value which we see here. So this is the value where it switches off. So at 11 volt, if it goes below 11 volt, it will switch off. Now you see it is uh, on now. I will slowly go down below 11 volt and you will see it on the display. So the battery is uh, consuming, consuming. It's really a great to have such a power supply. Yeah, it works. Yeah, it's off. Okay. If we go up again, it should go to this voltage. Yeah, you saw it 12.6. This is the the floating voltage when it starts to uh, to slow down charging, and this is the voltage where it will reconnect the volt uh, the the users because it will not uh, reconnect if it goes up on 11 volts again because it wants to give uh, the solar panel a little bit of time uh, to go to this uh, to a, a decent level. So this is 12.6 uh, and we will go there now with the laboratory supply. I will, I will increase it slowly. Twelve point six. We are there. There, so it works again. So now you see it at thirteen volt, and it goes off. Okay, that works. And uh, like before, I did the uh, same tests with the current. Uh, that is, if it's uh, off and it's on, because I wanted uh, also with uh, you to be sure that if uh, it shuts down the power uh, to protect the battery. It really is not storing power anymore. Well, as before, we uh, when we uh, did the manual switching of the output, uh, it goes from uh, 0 0.5 uh, milliampere when it switched off to the current of the of the user, uh, which was uh, just as uh, before. So uh, it does a good uh, job by switching off manually, but also if it has to switch off in order to uh, to cut off uh, in the case of under voltage of the battery. Okay, keep an eye on the description because I will ask to the manufacturer what is uh, the meaning of this uh, B1 and how the uh, controller can be put or recognize himself the, the state of the battery and the voltage and also the kind of battery which uh, technology of the battery is uh, made and I will put you up, I will keep you updated in the description I don't know it now so I I have to, to let you wait